Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video of intrigue for us uh, strange folk, the border spotting enthusiast. In my defense, I actually came to this place not to spot a border, but uh, it's uh, quite hard to go very far in this part of Israel without encountering something related to uh, to borders or the like. What you're looking at behind me here is actually uh, Israel's border with Syria now to be a bit more technical about it it's actually the DMZ uh, the demilitarized uh, zone which is comprised of a little small uh, patch of land located between Undoff Line Alpha and Undoff Line Bravo. Undoff is the United Nations Disengagement Obser Observer Force and it's one of the UN missions like UNIFIL, UNSO, UNSCO, it does get a bit confusing, uh, who have a presence on the ground here um, in Israel. And just across the border, so you have the DMZ and then the border is, I'm just going to step out of the frame for a second, is al Qunaitra, which is in Syria and has been a site of um, shelling between uh, Syrian rebels and pro-government uh, forces. And uh, we're so close at this point that you can hear occasionally explosions across the border. Um, a few words about where, I'm, where I am located, this rooftop. So it's labeled on Google Maps as Syrian uh, army headquarters or the Syrian headquarters um, in Hebrew, Habinyan uh, Hamodi'in Hasuri, which means uh, the build is slightly different meaning, the building of Syrian intelligence. This was built in 1962 by a Russian architect and it was built very well. The reason that we know it's built very well is firstly, I mean, it's still it's still standing. So there, there's that. Uh, but it was actually bombed repetitively by Israel and it has stood uh, nonetheless. But you can actually go inside. It's a bit... Um, it's an abandoned building. Uh, the corridors at the moment are kind of full of water and icicles. Um, but you can actually see the stairways are sort of bombed out, uh, metal poking out of them, that kind of stuff. So uh, you can see a little bit about its history. This building actually played a very important role during the Six Day War uh, because it was a command post for the Syrian army. Um, there are a couple of theories that this was actually firstly constructed as a hospital, but from what I understand from talking to a tour guide uh, downstairs and from reading on the internet, the consensus is that this was always built as a command post, effectively a forward command center for the Syrian army in the Golan. Now, uh, during the Six-Day War, Israel bombed this because it was a, a site of strategic importance to the Syrians and it bombed it a couple of uh, a couple of times ultimately the building was um, abandoned and when Israel came here uh, they planted the Israeli flag on the rooftop I'm standing on and found a treasure trove of documents that proved a huge uh, key to Israeli intelligence during firstly the, the course of the Six Day War and uh, afterwards as well the Israeli military intelligence uh, which is known as Amman gained a lot of information from this from this post a couple more a couple more details about it that i think are interesting it's on the eli cohen trail eli cohen of course being the legendary israeli spy who was uh ultimately killed hung in damascus and about whom an excellent netflix uh series has been produced and he was in this building now the question is why was eli cohen uh a mossad operative in a Syrian military command post. So the answer to that apparently has to do with the fact that um, he got a per he needed a permit from the Syrian army in order to access the Golan. The Golan obviously strategic now as it was then and in order for um, Ali Cohen to look around this area under his uh, under his cover he needed to get a permit and the fact that he was able to literally do this walk into a military headquarters is uh, is regarded as testimony to firstly how uh, on the the kind of terms he must have been with the Syrian army how effective he was as an intelligence operative um, and uh, basically how much he did um, in service of Israel and played a huge role undoubtedly both in the Six Day War and uh, intelligence that has informed Israeli operations for uh, all the time since then. So this is the Syrian army headquarters. Uh, just to, if you are, I, there are families visiting here, but it's a little bit uh, staircases without railings, that sort of thing. So if you are going to come here, just do be careful a little, some hazards definitely. And come up to the roof if you're interested in borders and look towards this side, the side where you have all the wind turbines on and uh, open up Google Maps and uh, you can see where you're facing. And this is, as I mentioned, we're looking into Syria. For veteran border spotters, one clue that it, this is a border is those yellow fences are typically are where closed military zones are right next to the border. And if you can zoom in on my, I'll zoom in on my camera, but you can't really see it with the naked eye. There is the border fence there and some warnings as well and a couple of outposts on the other side. 
The Syrian army headquarters is located two kilometers uh, to the west of Qunaitra in Syria, but uh, if you want to visit this, you have to come from the Israeli side, so it's close to uh, Harbental, Mount Bental. And if you do want to get more videos from me about the various interesting things uh, I find in my locality in Jerusalem and further afield in Israel, then do please uh, consider subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, thank you for watching the video.